Hey guys, welcome back. It is Friday night, and we got a $5 knife. Um, they've been harder to find on Bud K. Actually, the prices have gone up quite a bit. It's like seven, eight, nine, ten bucks for their cheapest knives now. So uh, I looked elsewhere. I got this off of Amazon, and it was Amazon Prime worthy. So free two-day shipping. So it actually just cost $4.99. Uh, there is the model number for you, the Hawkbill Neck Knife, made in China, of course. And today, we got a friggin' beer. We're going to drink a uh, Lock 27 Tinder. This is their most popular beer. This is a local Dayton beer. Highly recommend. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, delicious. Uh, very mild. I mean, just kind of your, your standard golden ale but uh man very good okay so back to the knife i actually have not opened this up at all i don't even remember what it looked like on the pictures when i bought it i just remember it was five dollars what was that okay yeah it needs some more some more beer there we go all right don't tip over okay so you do get a pretty cheap and thin velvet pouch, but hey, you get a pouch. And let's see what the knife looks like from within. Oh, it's a karambit. It's not a hawk bill. I don't know what they're talking about. This is a karambit. And uh, <laughs> so, you know, no pocket clip or anything. It's supposed to be worn around your neck. There's no quick detach, so uh, choking hazard. So, oh well, it's $5. Put your own necklace on there, you know? It's five bucks. You're paying for the knife. Anyways, we got a cheap plastic sheath, and you can hear that clickety click click. It uh, is not tight in there, but uh, there you go. You got a stripe pattern on there. The handle is just a, a cheap plastic. Um, mystery stainless, of course, because it's a five dollar knife. Most of them come that way. But um, in the hand, not too bad. It's a little small. I mean, like I said before, I, I have like a medium to large size gloved hand. And uh, yeah, this is, this is almost like uh, child size finger grooves. Um, they don't really want to go nicely in there. They'll fit, but it's, it's a little on the small side you can see there's my finger it it kind of fits but uh little little small you have a little thumb ramp here and it does kind of lock in um the nice thing is that the the hole is nice and big so some of these from china i don't know what they're thinking but this this finger hole is just way way too small um almost to the point where you can't get your finger in there. But this one fits pretty nice. I have some extra room in there, so that will work. And it's actually pretty comfortable. I mean, you got a, a flat spot up here for your finger. So yeah, that works okay. It is nice and pointy, which is what you like for your knives, sharp and pointy. So let's, uh, let's get a dang piece of paper and see how it cuts. Um, all right, here we go. First cut. Well, huh. Not so great, but uh, you can get it to cut. That's not a pretty cut. <laughs> you can see the, all the tearing there, but it is cutting the paper. It's so, uh, it's, uh, it's not sharp. I mean, it's not completely dull but it's definitely not sharp so set that over there let's get some bed K paper <sighs> yeah that's the stuff okay here we go let's see uh, it, <laughs> it cuts it's not pretty though it's not pretty it'll cut yep yeah. yep well, yeah, so need some honing, probably 
a good amount of honing actually. Um, see if it's nice and straight. Yep, nice and straight. Let's check that bevel. Um, yeah, you can see <laughs> some uh, crappy edge right there. Got the two indentations like this thing's been dropped or something. Um, yeah, you can, I don't know if it'll focus nice for you. There you go. Right there where my thumb's at. That is muchos malos there. Very bad. Um, yeah, I don't know. Definitely need some rehoning, but um, yeah. I mean, the bevel is okay. It's okay. It's just, uh, it's got a couple bad places. That should sharpen right out. And the, the tip, I can tell, has been smashed up against something because it has a little kink to it. I don't know if you can see that there. A little kink on the end, um, probably from rattling around in this box and in this sheath that isn't tight, all the way from China to the USA. So, oh well, there it is. That's what you get for $4.99 from Amazon. And if you have Amazon Prime, free shipping. So, there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have some more of my Lock 27 Tinder. And uh, if you're ever in the Dayton area, look them up. You might uh, find some, some nice ales that you like. Uh, locally brewed, uh, good stuff. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Have a good weekend. Oh. Uh.